What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm back, and this time we're going to be looking at looking at the blueprint inventory system. Uh, this is currently the only inventory system that is on the marketplace. Kind of wish there was another one, to be honest with you. I don't really care for this one, <clears throat> but it saves you a lot of time from having to make a wild mess of an inventory system. I'll sh show you, in just in case you've never seen. The blueprint of an inventory system is all this jazz. Yeah. Yep, yep. Fun stuff. But anyway, um, we'll jump right into it here. Uh, inventory system. See, so you got animations. This runs just off the stock third person guy. So keep that in mind. Another thing that I don't like about this is whenever you uh, add to project, like you know normally assets, assets, it doesn't add to your project. It creates a whole new folder for another world you have to open to migrate to your project. And the only bad thing about that is with the whole migrating thing, you can't. I don't know if you heard that. But I'm plug a baseball controller, but you can't. Uh, like. On my other games, I have my own HUD, which has my health bar. It's got a attribute system, and it's got other stuff on there. But with me migrating that over, I can't just put in the inventory system and it work. Because it's drawing the HUD like any other thing would. But I'm also got other HUDs drawn for the attribute system and all that. So it's just very complicated to get it all hooked up. Um, I did get it all hooked up finally, though. Wasn't that bad, but... It was a little time. Uh, so we'll jump right into this. There's a map in here somewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Map. There we go. Inventory showcase. Uh, let's open her up. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll save that. I don't know what's changed in there, but okay. <laughs> so this is the map. The symbol blueprint will spawn box containing attach a spawn inventory. You notice that inventory makes sure the RNG system will spawn different items. Uh, on the default page of spawn inventory, you will see under RNG category spawn five or thirty items with different weight for logs, rocks, and swords. All right. I'm not sure why we're moving so slow. Put that up to five. All right. Uh, create a blueprint for generic thing. Let's create a simple container that mesh and ready container should our inventory attached your spawn inventory size. Okay, I, that's that's like a chest thing. Remember splitting attack and dropping on the ground with risk containers to lose items. It's effectively disabled easily in the GUI me menu inventory or the main in inventory. Uh, generic inventory blue systems let you create different inventories in any case you want. Create a blueprint based on a generic inventory and the defaults page is slot number the maximum weight starting items RNG loot attached. Trace for items between inventories, either double click or drag the items. You can also right click to use a drop items. Uh, you can open inventory with eyes. Uh, pick up with look at A. The function is called pressing E. Is pick up function. Own items inside the blueprint graph. Implement your own items. Uh, welcome. I guess I should have started here. Welcome. <laughs> This showcase for blueprint, blueprint inventory system in the quarter of the level we placed a few items. Uh, derived from the generic item blueprint to create any item you should create a blueprint based the generic item blueprint after creating the blueprint want to add a mesh if you want to override use pickup functions um okay let's just jump right into this so let's hit play those rocks fill so we should be able to press I to bring up this thing which you're all able to move around which is a good thing the only thing is for some reason when I made mine bigger it didn't stay bigger. Like it always goes back to this size. And I'm not sure if that's a bug or what. Um, but every time I make it bigger, it just goes back to the regular size. I will just leave that up for a moment and we will grab a handy dandy rock. Pretty cool. It highlights something right here, tells you what it is. Like that one says rock. This one's gonna say uh yeah, you guess it log. And this one's gonna be uh yep, yeah, a sword. Let's go ahead and grab a sword, even though we already have one. Go ahead and grab a log and grab a rock. So now we have them in our inventory, so we can right click. God dang, barely even see that. But that says use or drop. Uh, if we hit use, it just disappears. It says sword has been used, but, you know, where did it go? Uh, well, it got destroyed because whenever we use an item, it destroys an item. 
Uh, same thing if we drop it. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Later version, whenever you drop them, it would be destroyed. So I guess they fixed that in an update. Uh, right here, we got the barrels, which is where it's talking about where you can transfer stuff. So you can take the sword, handy dandy sword, and put it in the barrel. Uh, yeah, and you can take everything out of it and put it in your inventory. It's kind of cool. I don't know why you want to use barrels. More than likely, you want to change it to chest or something, but, uh, yeah. Over here, I don't understand if this spitting a stack and dropping them on the ground. Produce container. That has those items. Huh. Another barrel, another rock in it. Right. Whoops. Don't hit that button, ladies and gentlemen. Let me run back over there. Whee. And last but not least, we have the generic container that spawns items out of its area. It's pretty cool. Uh, but that is pretty much it in here, I believe. Let's double check. We've got all the HUD options. Uh, quite a few different HUDs. We've got fonts, materials, textures, meshes, which you can add in your barrels, uh, and your logs, and your rocks, and all the stuff that we're picking up and using. We got the textures. Here's the icons that will show up in the little menu at the bottom. Uh, see anything else is in there. Animation. Oh, no, that's that. Inventory system, containers. Here's a blueprint. Blueprints for the uh, barrels, which actually make them work. Uh, another thing is make sure, like if you guys do get this, make sure, it's part of common sense here, but make sure if you're putting this in your world that you use these blueprint ones. Just because if you don't use the blueprint ones, you will not be able to pick them up. Like if I was to just uh, go into material, oh, no, meshes, if I was just throw another rock in here, we'll put it right here in the middle. I can't pick it up it's because it's not the blueprint one so the stuff I put over here is a blueprint so you can actually use this stuff so just just train of thought so if you ever try to put something in your world that's not working that's probably why I didn't use a blueprint one um, uh, let's see well that about that's yeah, that's everything that comes with it uh, price on this thing? That's a good question. I don't have that up. Tell you what, though, I ain't gonna post it in the description this time because I have an actual bookmarked here. Uh, yep. Yeah. I don't know why I don't have it up on the other monitor over here. So I'll put it up on this monitor, I guess. Uh, did we go there? Dang, I really want that M one four A. I'm probably gonna go ahead and get that. Come on. Time today. Promise I'll have this up next time. I had it up last time and I just wasn't thinking about it. I wish it actually showed you on there. Twenty-four ninety nine. Twenty-four ninety nine gets you an inventory system. Um overall it's it's alright. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a bug with like that menu I was talking about, but for some reason when I hit I, when I make that that player inventory this thing right here bigger, it just it doesn't save. And I'm not sure why that is. It's always this size, uh, so I don't know if that's a bug or if I'm just being retarded and not doing something right. But uh, if it's if it's on my part, then you know I'm an idiot. But if it's a bug, then I wish they kind of fix it. But uh, other than that, I mean, it works flawlessly. Uh, right now, I'm playing in 4.7.6. Uh, I really just got this for 4.5. It's been going with it ever since. So, I mean, it's keeping it updated and everything, and it's it's a pretty good system. So, I'd, I'd recommend getting this inventory system if you need an inventory system. Uh, but anyway, that will about wrap it, wrap it up for this one. Uh, hope to see you guys next video. I'll go ahead and jump ahead and tell you what the next video is about so you don't have to guess. I guess we'll go ahead and jump into the, uh, uh gosh dang it. Okay. Uh.
Sorry about that. Keep you on. But next video is going to be about the weapon equip system 2.0. So we'll jump into that one next. So see you there, hopefully.